In this lesson, we will uh, see another problem related to loop in the linked list. So here uh, we have to find the first node in the uh, loop. So earlier we had used a Floyd's algorithm to find loop in the linked list. Here we have to return this node 3 if a loop exists. If it does not exist, return null. So uh, how we will do it? So it will be uh, done in two steps. First step is to uh, detect the loop if it exists or not. So for this we will use the Floyd's algorithm. So this part of the uh, solution will be common to our earlier problem Floyd's algo and then there is a second part that find the node first node. So again uh, the first part would be to take uh, two pointers slow and fast and then uh, if they meet somewhere that is slow becomes equal to fast at some point so first part is just checking slow is equal to fast then there is a loop so this is the condition for loop of course in the beginning they are the same but we will not consider this case later in the uh, traversal so we will do something here when we encounter this situation if this situation does not happen then we return null so here we are returning the node pointer. So uh, what happens once they are equal? So let's say uh, we have detected the node case. The other case is very trivial. We did not find the loop. So it will be exactly like the Floyd's algorithm, nothing more. So there we were returning uh, false. Here we will return null at the same place. So that part is trivial. So only thing we need to uh, consider is when a loop is found. So how we will find this three. So let's say this is the first node of the loop and let's say uh, slow became equal to fast so that was the case we detected the loop so slow is equal to fast and this is the condition for loop now slow is fast and let's say they meet somewhere let's say uh, they meet at 7 uh, we can run through it and find exactly where they meet but uh, let's take a general case and let's say this is the node where slow and fast became equal this case now what we will do th this was the first part so first part is done second part well what we will do once we detected the loop move the slow pointer here back to head so this is the head node and fast keep it here so I'm writing different color earlier was the black now it's kind of a uh, red so fast is still here where they met now let's uh, define some variables let's say this distance is uh, let's call it m the size of loop size of this loop is n and one more thing let's say they meet at a distance of k from the first node so this distance is k so we have three variables now what we will have will happen so when they meet again so uh, after this we move the slow pointer to the beginning and fast pointer remains there and while slow not equal to fast slow equal to slow next fast equal to fast next so now uh, you can notice that we are advancing both by one step after the detection of loop and moving the slow pointer to the beginning and uh, we are claiming that they will meet again at the first node so this is the algorithm we are using so why this will work let's see so let's say this uh, distance is m we have already defined the size of loop is n so remember those notations otherwise you will get confused and the distance from the first node to the point where they met the first time before moving the slow pointer so this first step this k now what will happen so e both slow and fast are now moving by one step one step one step one step one step and they will meet here so why is this so let's see so uh, at time t so let's say at time t they met at this point in the first step so how much distance was traveled by slow pointer it was uh, let's say uh, before meeting uh, they took uh, some rotations 
of this loop they may not meet in the first uh, iteration itself maybe the loop is very small maybe the lo loop is very small and this is long distance so slow is still here and fast has taken one rotation slow is here fast has taken another rotation and so on so for general case let's say the slow pointer takes uh, uh, how do we define let's say a steps a a number of cycles or let's say c1 c1 number of rotations of this loop and fast takes c2 number of rotations of this loop before meeting again uh, before meeting at this point the first step so how much distance was traveled by slow pointer it was uh, this distance m plus c1 rotations of this loop so c1 n and then they met here so that is k so they reached here m capital m then a few rotations of this c1 n plus this distance k so this was taken by slow pointer and the distance uh, traveled by fast pointer is twice of this distance so let's make it multiply by 2 so this will become distance traveled by fast pointer now see fast pointer is also here and it had also traveled this m plus it has taken c2 rotations so c2 multiplied by n plus this k so this would be equal so let's rewrite here uh, 2m plus 2c1n plus 2k equal to m plus c2n plus k so this k you can remove from here 1k from both sides this m you can remove from both sides so what remains m plus k is equal to c2 minus 2c1 n so let me rewrite it so this length is n this length is k this length is m and we are saying that uh, m plus k is m plus k is equal to 2 c2 minus 2 c1 c2 minus 2 c1 uh, n or we can remove it with some constant cn so m plus k is some constant times n so this m plus k k is here so slow and fast had first met here next time they will meet here so this m plus k is some multiple of this cycle length so now what happened when we uh, moved the slow here and when the slow reached here so it traveled m distance so in the same time how much distance will fast travel uh, it will travel same distance m so now uh, if so at time t so let's reset the time also here so t equal to 0 at that time so at time m slow is here and fast moves this distance this k so it was already k distance from here and then again m so k plus m distance from this node so this is the distance if you take the distance from this node we are taking from the beginning so it uh, the slow pointer and fast it traveled m distance from the beginning uh, so if you take the distance from this node a starting node it will be zero it has just reached here so slow pointer is at a distance of 0 fast dis uh, pointer is at a distance of so whatever distance whatever node it was it traveled another m so the slow pointer is at a, a fast pointer is at a distance of k plus m but we know that k plus m is a multiple of n so it's as good as this distance only because you are here you are at a distance of 0 you take one rotation you reach here again one more rotation you reach here again no matter how many rotations you take you will reach at the same point starting point and 
this first pointer is at a distance of k plus m from this beginning node or in other words c times n from this beginning node and this n is the cycle length so it must be here only so that's why this algorithm works so what is the algorithm let's recap first find the loop let's say they met here the first time so, uh, so in the first step slow was moving by one step fast was my moving by two step this was the floats algorithm they met here at this node then we reset s2 head and fast remained here now in the second step both are moving by one step and they are meeting at the first node and we have seen why this is so so i hope uh, you understood this problem now let's write the code for this so uh, again uh, this is the same code that we had used for detecting the loop so this part so again this is the same example that we had seen here these eight nodes and from 8 to 3 so 3 is the answer 3 is the first node so this is the linked list with that same loop and we have to define a function first node in the loop and if it uh, does not find a loop it will return null and uh, if it returns a not null value then we will print the data otherwise we will print no loop so this is the till this point we have already seen if slow is equal to fast then there is a loop so let's do something here so what we will do we will just break from this since we found the loop we have to break from this so the purpose of this loop was to check whether loop exists or not now it might have uh, broken from this loop because there was no loop and the fast has reached the end so we will add a check here if uh slow not equal to fast so if slow is not equal to fast this condition was false and it did not break from this loop because of this so that that means there was no loop return null ptr but if this is not the case if it goes beyond that line that means there was loop now we will find the first uh, node of the loop so we will reset slow to head fast will be fast will remain where it was so no need to change anything so while slow is not equal to fast increment both by one steps slow equal to slow next fast equal to fast next and then uh, when they are again equal and they will definitely be equal because this is the uh, this piece of code is executed only when there is a loop so return either fast or slow it doesn't doesn't matter and here we can print it so now let's uh, see so here we have a loop and it should print 3 and you can see 3 is printed here now let's uh, remove this last next from 8 to 3 we are removing this chain 8 to 3 so now there is no loop uh, so our next of 8 is null, uh, null pointer so now it should print this message no loop now it says no loop as expected so i hope uh, you understood this problem and you understood why this algorithm works and this is a very uh, nice and elegant uh, way of uh, finding the first element uh, in the linked list having a loop